repeats it. That's the basic melody. Let me go over the chords with you. D minor, D, G, D, 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 D minor. D minor, G, D minor. Da, da, D minor, D, C, F, to B flat, G, to the A, to the D minor. C to the D minor. The chords in the B section go like this. D major, D minor, C to the D major. <laughs> Sorry. D major, D major to the C to the D major. D major to the G to the E. To the A minor, to the D minor, to the C, to the D minor. So that's the melody, and then same thing. Then on the third time. Which is where it goes. This is over the B flat chord. And then G to A, uh, but the melody. two A sections and then the the endings are the same um, the B section so the kickoff is that's the tricky part of course That's the whole pattern right there. So.
This part goes. That just stays on the D, but dips down and then resolves back. And then it goes up to the G shape. Up to the E shape. So when I say G shape here, I'm talking about G chord, G and B. And then the E shape, you take the G to a G sharp and leave the B, and then that's an E major chord. And we take that whole shape and go just down a half step and back up. And then up one more half step, and you're at the A minor shape, which is A and C. And C. So G sharp and B to A and C. And then you go back. Which is the same as the one you do earlier. Just an octave higher. So all together, that sounds like this.